Chapter 1 The screams from the flat next door start up like clockwork at 10pm, just like they do every night. After six months of listening to the couple argue, I know there's nothing I can do to shut out their voices. Not a pillow over my head, not cotton wool stuffed in my ears, not even turning up the ancient radio on the filthy floor next to my crappy mattress will stop me from hearing them. Instead, I do what I always do when the neighbours get loud. I pull out my well-worn second-hand guitar and create. As the music flows from my calloused fingers and through the strings beneath them, I swear to myself for the millionth time that I will get the fuck out of this hellhole someday. As usual, my crackhead mum is out for the night, probably on a piss-up or selling herself for drugs. If I'm lucky, I'll see her once a week, maybe twice. My dad, well, who the hell knows where that tosser is? Whenever he graces us with his presence, all he does is beat the shite out of me and my mum. Not that she gives a crap if he does. She sits there with a drugged up, glazed over eyes and lets him pound on her or me till he's bored. Unable to block out the neighbours, I squeeze my eyes shut, adding words to the strumming, softly singing as the yelling becomes violent next door. I'm not going to die in this pit of despair. Something or someone slams against the wall behind me. The sketches I have plastered all over it flutter outward from the shaking. I've learned not to cringe anymore, so the trembling wall doesn't cause me to react. Not even a blink. I pull myself out. Get the fuck out of here. Only one more term. One more term until I'm done with school and I can leave this shitty town, this shitty flat and this shitty life. I play until it's quiet on the other side of my bedroom wall. And my fingers are numb. Then collapse. Under the covers. Passing out instantly. Reynolds! I don't even need to look back to know that my best mate Dax Davies is rushing to catch up with me in the hallway. A dozen or so girls leaning on lockers turn their heads to watch him walk by. Yeah, he's popular with them. We both are. Dax! I remain unaffected, pretending not to notice the sighs and giggles that are thrown our way. His heavy hand slaps my back, making me stumble a bit before regaining my footing. Tossa! I sound angry but I'm unable to keep the smile off my face. Dax is a huge guy, all muscles and intimidating scowl, but he's been my best mate for so long, I don't even notice how terrifying he can be anymore. First day of our last term, right? Dax speaks as we dodge other students who are making their way to their respective classes. We make sure to avoid eye contact with hopeful girls, saving that for after school, not during. It's too distracting if you let them get close during school hours. Right, I nod in agreement. Dax knows how it is. He grew up here in the blighted suburbs of London's East End right alongside me. His family's just as fucked up as mine. We know we're not going to university, which means we're done after this year. Off to become adults when we're hardly even out of puberty. We're still heading to town Saturday to see if we can get that gig. I stop and turn to face Dax before ducking in at my first class, in no way eager to start another boring four months of school. Fucking hell, of course we're going! I point at his swollen eye. Nice shiner, by the way. It's hard to miss Dax's various bruises since he usually has at least a few. Then I'm not one to talk, since I show up with plenty of my own from time to time for totally different reasons, of course. Hey, Adam... I cringe when I hear a female voice sing my name out from the sea of students. My body immediately tenses up as Lucy Collins weaves through everyone, ending up uncomfortably close. Lucy, I respond in a detached tone, not wanting to give her any sliver of hope that she has a chance. Christ, I gave in to better judgement and fucked her once at the end of last term. Unfortunately, her obsession with me has only gotten worse. Silly me for hoping that the holidays were enough to make her forget about me and move on. I should have known better, the way she acts around me, that she wasn't going to let go that easily. Lucy knows I don't get with the same girl twice and she's already had her turn, so I haven't a clue why she thinks she's different, because she's not. Bastard that he is, Dax stifles a laugh and slowly backs away. His sh